Till now we learned about simple machines that we use in our daily life. Farmers use many machines and tools while cultivating farms. They are known as agricultural machines. Let's learn about them. Let's learn about plow. This is a wooden plow. It is slightly bent like alphabet L. At one end, there is a metallic blade fixed with nails. This blade helps the plow to go deep into the soil easily. These wooden plows are traditionally drawn by horses or cattle. See how a farmer using this plow for cultivation. A plow is used to loosen the soil in the field. In modern times, animals are replaced by tractors and wooden plow by tractor drove plow. Tract a drove plow are made up of iron strips. By using tractor driven plow, saves a lot of time and effort. Leveler This is a leveler. A wooden leveler is made using two or three straight planks of strong wood. These planks are tightened together using metal strips. This wooden plank is dragged through field drawn by bulls. The main purpose is to break mud, rocks, in his field. And makes agriculture field on same level without ups and downs. In modern times, wooden plank is replaced by tractor driven leveler. It consists of a rectangular metal frame, to which one end is fixed with a sharp-edged metallic strip which levels the ground. Other end is attached to a handle to which his tractor is fixed. Let's learn about seed driller. This is a tractor-driven seed driller. A seed drill is a device that precisely positions seeds in the soil and then covers them. On top it consists of rectangular seed chamber. Here seeds are placed. Seeds travel through these tubes. Through these nostrils seed are planted into the soil. See how seed driller is used. But for the seed driller. Seeds were planted by hand that lead to low productivity. With seed drill a high productivity can be achieved with short time and effort. Let's learn about harrow. This is a tractor driven harrow. It consists of a long wide metal strip and a number of sharp metal discs attached to it. Hero used to remove undesirable plants or weeds in field and for breaking up and smoothing out the surface of the soil. Let's see how a farmer uses a harrow. Till now we saw so many machines and tool. These machines need to be maintained properly, so that they don't damage. These following steps need to be taken. Machines should be protected from dust to prevent from becoming wear and tear. So when not in use, machines should be protected by covering them with covers. If machines are exposure to moisture they will get rusted. To avoid this, the non-movable iron parts of a machine should be painted. To reduce friction, the moving parts of a machine should be regularly lubricated.